the flash of a muzzle. The sound of panic. The terrified crowd drops for cover. As rounds ring out, just feet from the gunfire, cell phones were rolling. People partying one second, ducking the next. And it's not just the shooting that piqued law enforcement's attention, but also the venue. You can't be on your off-road vehicles out here uh, and throwing these large events. It's part of a new off-roading party scene. These lights, this band, even these concession stands were hauled into a wash below one of Southern California's busiest freeways, the 60 in Riverside, in the middle of the pandemic. The mostly maskless crowd of at least a thousand got in riding some very expensive toys. Quads, dune buggies, trucks with lift kits, even heavy machinery. The columns of the freeway, the newest test for off-roading prowess. Our undercover cameras also caught what appeared to be miners inhaling nitrous. And despite the no doubt eye-popping price tag, the event was free of charge. This man, who calls himself Guy Man and his off-roading team Los Manguerones, foot the bill, even booking Grupo Escolta to play for the crowd. We are fusing off-roading with events. On social media, that's how Guy Man describes his 4x4 parties, located in areas so remote, like this concert in the San Bernardino National Forest. The only way in is in four-wheel drive or all-terrain vehicles. Singer Kevin Ortiz serenades the crowd. Just one of his music videos has over 100 million views. Off-roaders from all over Southern California only learning the location just before the event. As president of Mangarones, this isn't how I support myself. This is a hobby. And Caiman seems to have a lot of hobbies. He declined to speak with us, but his social media pages show him jet-setting all over the world, post after post of a hard partying, hard charging, extravagant lifestyle. He says he supports through various businesses, and he's not shy about showing it all off. There's a display of serious horsepower and heavy firepower. Here he is with an AR-15. One of his cohorts even shows off what appears to be a grenade launcher. But Kaiman insists at his parties, weapons are a no-no. In my public events, they are 100% prohibited, and they will continue to be prohibited, and it won't be tolerated. The weapons are popping up at his off-road parties. Our cameras were in the mountains above Paris, California, when law enforcement broke up one of the events after getting reports of gunfire. Then there was that shooting in Riverside. Police say two to three people may have been shot. The responsible ones are those who started the fight and took out arms. The only thing we know is that it was horrible. In reality, the only one at fault is the person who took out the weapon and fired. Speaking on a live stream shortly after the death, Gaiman dismissed allegations his underground parties are dangerous or that they lack adequate security. He points out there have also been shootings at big events that were held with all the proper permits and met all the security requirements. We have now had three events without any weapons or fights. Just weeks later, he was at it again. Our camera was there for this party. And in the ruta or route, the manguerones are becoming legendary. There's even a song about them and him. But law enforcement isn't impressed, breaking up parties like this one and warning they have toys of their own to put a stop to the craziness. It's going to lead to more destruction of property, more fights, more injuries, and we hope not. Uh, we don't want this to lead to any more death.
Now, that death that the officer was talking about actually happened back in March in the wash here behind me. And police tell us that man was stabbed and not shot, but they are very concerned about the violence. So concerned, in fact, Riverside police tell us there's now talk of forming a task force with state, local, and also federal law enforcement to tackle the problem. Live in Riverside, I'm Christy Fajardo, Fox 11 News. So, Christy, are these kind of like pop-up parties? People find out about them last minute. I guess law enforcement might as well then. Well, law enforcement sometimes does find out about them. Sometimes they don't. Uh, sometimes neighbors are who call them in when they start seeing off-roading vehicles coming through their area and they start wondering what is happening. But they have a massive, massive social media following and they're growing in influence.